It is finally payback time in the Senate. The long-awaited report into Senate expenses was released today, and it confirmed that three senators did, in fact, misuse their housing allowance. Senators Mac Harb and Patrick Brazo have been ordered to pay back thousands of dollars. Senator Mike Duffy has already reimbursed what he owes, and there is no plan to call in the RCMP. Mike LeCouture has the details for us from Ottawa. Mike? Well, Donna, these reports clearly show that three senators took taxpayer money when they shouldn't have. While their colleagues from the upper chamber wonder if the RCMP should be called in, so far none of them are ready to make that call. Okay, I got Duffy. After months of scrutiny and speculation, external audits on three senators' living expenses are finally public. And they show tens of thousands of taxpayers' dollars were misspent. Liberal Senator Mac Harb and Senator Patrick Brazo must immediately repay uh, inappropriately claimed expenses. Senators Brazo, Duffy and Harb all claimed their primary residence was outside the capital region. But the Deloitte audit found they spent most of the time living in the Ottawa area. Now, Duffy was only at his supposed primary residence in Cavendish for one third of the time he served as a senator from PEI. Harb was at this Pembroke area home for only 21% of the time, and it was determined Brazo barely ever stayed at this Manawaki address. In fact, he was there only 10% of the time. This is an old boys club who didn't feel they actually needed to be very clear about rules because it was the honor system. If someone walked in and said, hey, you know what, I'm entitled to $20,000 a year housing allowance, they didn't have to prove anything because they were a senator. The auditor has concluded that the rules in place were in fact not clear. However, the Senate itself has decided that it expects better judgment from the senators. Mike Duffy has already paid back more than $90,000. Included in that, $1,000 worth of per diems while he was supposed to be in Ottawa. But cell phone records show he was actually in Miami, Florida. Now Senator Harb will be forced to reimburse nearly $49,000 and Brazo will have to repay more than $51,000. I'm sorry, I can't comment. The process is still ongoing. Liberal Senator Mac Harb didn't have much to say about the audit. In fact, he's going to let his lawyers do the talking because he's challenging the audit's findings. But he'll be carrying on that fight solo. Late this afternoon, he resigned from Liberal Caucus. In my view and in the view of our leader, this is absolutely the appropriate uh, course for him to take. We think these are very serious allegations. Serious enough that the Liberal leader in the Senate believes the Mounties should be involved, but the Senate isn't calling them in. The police will look at it from the point of view, is there anything in here that, will, that would lead to a reasonable probability of a charge succeeding? Now, these aren't the last audits into expenses. Deloitte is examining the travel claims of Conservative Senator Pamela Wallen. Reports suggest that over the years she's charged hundreds of thousands to taxpayers. And at some point, the audit will tell us how much of that was justified. Donna? All right, Mike LeCouture in Ottawa, thanks.